looks like we're online on Facebook. What's up, everybody? What's up, everybody? So my wife uh, has been begging me to uh, let her build a quad. Uh, we've been out a couple times flying together. And uh, so she wanted to build her own. And <clears throat> so I had her originally set up to build this um, quad that I won at the West Coast Throwdown. And it turns out that it's probably a better option for her to run a two and a half. So I have a RC crazed, an older frame. I can't remember what it's called exactly, um, but it's a little two and a half. Uh, it's super nice. It's got the fan on top and then it's got um, a super nice protective cover. So real quick, I'm going to do some sharing so yeah so she's gonna build I've got uh, this fancy little setup here no comments yet Hopefully the tunes are at a good volume and that you can hear us as well. We shall see. We'll go with Hot Dog and Ready Made Hangout. <laughs> and then that's not a power loop. <laughs> 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 oh, that's funny. It's called kamikaze, is what that is. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <clears throat> so, my buddy Ryan over here, he's uh, in town from Colorado. And uh, he's playing the simulator. So, yeah. So, once again... Just thought I'd uh, go live, hang out, uh, watch the wife build some stuff. Uh, she's going to build, and I'm just going to kind of try and coach. She hadn't really ever done too much soldering or anything, so I might have to help with that. <laughs> but, uh, she put the motors on already, um, and it, we're just on to the next step. So she's about to start doing the stack up. And, yeah, so I'll keep an eye on the live chat while she's doing that. And... You guys enjoy. So you need to put the uh, the lower stack on, which is the ESCs. That's the piece with the big wire coming out of it. Is that you? He's probably back there annihilating himself. <laughs> so does it go up? It, uh, prongs so up or prongs yep, down? The prongs go up. Yeah. And then the wire I normally the put the wire on the right hand side, and this right is the front. Side. So, yep, exactly. Okay. So, you got it on there. Now you need um, some standoffs. They're the black. Um, with Yep, exactly. And you just run those down on there. And I would just put two on. Um, for now, because we gotta solder the leads so just for the motors on. Yeah, just want like opposite corners. Yeah. Need a little more light over the build area. I can make that happen. All right, let's see. This is delayed. Okay. Trying to get to where I can see the live chat. But I should be able to see any comments on the restream. Oh, there we go. Yeah, I know, Michael. <laughs> My garage is a mess. A hi, Doug. Or DJ. We all know your name's not Doug. He said, oh, hi. Hello. 
What's up, Kelly and wife? Scott Hardesty says. So comments are coming through on the restream. That's okay, good. Okay, now what? Looks like. Let me make sure everything's working over here. Okay, so now we need to flip the third switch in on that. One, two, three. Yep. This flip one? that, yeah. And then we're going to let that heat up for a minute. So, yeah, we're uh, hanging out I? in the messy garage. Uh, yeah, see, this this table right here is the problem. It has a whole bunch of old, just it's just my RC gathering ground. And then, like, this rack I bought, and it's really helped my organization skills. But I actually spent, like, an hour organizing this area right here. So she actually had some place to build. So, um, yeah, it's a work in progress. Uh, everything on the other side of that table is like big items. And so it's really, I, I, one day I'll be able to park a car in here for a week. So, whatever. <laughs> That's love. All right. All right. So we're waiting on the, uh, soldering iron to warm up. I'm going to show her how to do one. And then uh, let her <laughs> try and do up. it. But I'm actually going to, while that's doing that, I'm going to try and find oh, an extra light. light. There's that one right there, the tiny one on the corner. Is that the one you're talking about? Tiny one on the corner. That light? No. Not a halogen. Okay. I just need a five volt power supply now. I've got this fancy little. Where's it at? Okay, I got this. Oh, those things. Uh, oh, I got this. this. Well, that pretty much does nothing. Maybe it does a little bit. All right, that'll be okay. Uh, Gary, what frame? This is a RC crazed. Um, slim fast two and a half. It was this mouse falling down. Yeah, but you had these that were hanging oh. down in front of your camera. Oh, hey, cool. yeah. Thanks for pointing it out. <laughs> All right, let me show you how to solder the these joints. Now, full disclosure, I retinned the um, the leads on these things. You good? You good? Can you see? I mean, I can see. Here, there it is. There. All right. Cool. Set it. Leave it. Okay, so I've I've pre-tinned the leads or re-tinned the leads because all of this stuff pretty much came off of something else, and I went ahead and put on the um, the battery lead because it's a little more difficult to solder thicker bunches of solder. So, Sean or Shane Tyler, my Prius is in the tree. He's uh, again back here playing the simulator. All right, so soldering 101. Clean tip, soldering 101, clean tip. So you see how this thing is kind of bent? Mm -hmm. Your hottest, most effective point is gonna be right there on that like bend. Okay. But you always have to watch out for the other components. That's why I told you to only put one on. So you can work on these three while these two are in. You work on those three and those three. Because when you get to this one, this will melt that. Oh. So you work on these three mm -hmm. and these three, and then you, you take, take this, off, exactly, exactly. Mm -hmm. okay. So you're never too close to them. We're just gonna leave the leads the length that they are. And a good idea is to just go ahead and re the leads. So we're gonna take the little jig and just pin these all in there. It doesn't have to be special. You just take a little piece of solder off of here like that clean your tip. So it's nice and silver. Mm -hmm. Just take it and put the soldering iron under the wire and just touch it right there. And I just retin that. Okay, so you do it to all three of them. 
Try your best not to get into the other wires because it will melt them. This is silicone wire, so it shouldn't do it really fast. But And then when you're all done, this is my solder flicking area. I just go like that to flick the excess. Clean your tip and then put it back if you're done with it. But we're just going to go right back into this. So you can reverse all of these. So I, I just run my wires straight so they're easy to um, comprehend in the end. So let me put this down so we don't burn anybody. So you got three wires nice and straight there. You just run them out like that because we're going to tape that down eventually with some electrical tape. So you just take them, find the inside wire, and I always start with the inside closest to the motor and then work my way in. So you pretty much take this guy and you preheat your work area. So go down onto the ESC and you'll touch it. As soon as you touch it, you see how it turns silver? Mm -hmm. As soon as you touch it, you should be able to stick this thing on there, touch it to that, and then pull your soldering iron away, and it should have adhered. Okay, just like that. And then you hold it for a second, and then it should be, you should be able to pull on it, and it shouldn't let loose. If you if it lets loose, then you got a cold solder, and it's just not quite on there. So you see how I'm using the back side of that mm -hmm. bend, and that allows me to work around this part of the ESC right there. Ow, I just touched my thumb. So oh, you I stick, see what you did here. Yeah, and you can smell it too. So you just stick it on there, allow it to turn silver, stick the wire in, and then pull your soldering iron away. See? Okay. You just go around the whole way around. You just do that other side. And I'm left-handed, so you might have to work it backwards. I'm left-handed too. Oh, yeah, I guess. Oh, my God. We'll Get see. your life together. See? Rude. <laughs> so you can use this thing or you can just set it up on that and just normally set it up on there because it's easier and then once you finish all of them then you can either just leave them hang or you can straighten them out from there and then like I said we'll just put a piece of tape and then we'll just kind of stuff the wires back up and under or out of the way when oh man all kinds of comments Trevor Good says, hey, Kelly, you keep working. Kristen Frank, you guys are awesome. So are you, Kristen. I got your message. I will respond uh, at some point this weekend. I don't have to retin. I don't have to do anything with this. Um, right? I would go ahead and retin all the motor leads. Just stick them in there. And that gets you used to, like, kind of working with the solder and holding the soldering iron and getting your technique as far as that goes. Uh, let's see. Oh, a jig, fancy man. Yeah, uh, Mike, you gotta have a jig, dude. There is no other way to work uh, on builds. Uh, Shane Tyler, this is her first official, like, full on. I'm letting her do all of the things build, yes. Uh, what up, Ray? Kristen, she is a boss. I let, uh, I let her run the shindig for the most part. <laughs> All right. So your best practice, and I didn't say this originally, is to tin these away from that because what uh, can happen? You don't want to drip anything. Yeah, because it, it'll actually like when you touch it. Sometimes it'll just like go flying. Good. Good looking out, homie. And that thing, uh, like, give it, give it some, give it some elbow grease when you clean it off. And watch your fingernails on any of that metal because it will <laughs> immediately <laughs> melt whatever touches it. Be really nails. careful with your fingernails, too. And I have another clip somewhere. So, do I, what do I do? Jiggity, touch, jiggity, touch, yes, sir. Touch the wire? Uh, put it under the wire. Yeah, and then bring the, bring the solder. Do I need solder. to have this funky yeah, part? That's probably the easiest way. It's, that's the hottest part. So you bring it up under the wire, let the let the soldering iron touch first, then bring the solder down to it. That way the wire is hot when the solder touches it. And then you can actually touch the solder to the soldering iron. So get your, there you go. Just kind of like meet them together. That was better. Here, let's do you a favor. Let me do this. So you got some nice tension on the wires. We're learning. This is how you learn, people. Alright. So 
that way. They're nice and taut underneath of there. And they don't move a lot. So like be rough and stick your stick the thing up on there and there you go. Boom. That was it. You see how it instantly like turns? Yeah. Try and when that smoke comes up, try and blow out. You mean I don't want to Sean it Dolan! In? No, I wouldn't recommend that. It smells so good, though. In the house. Sean Dolan in the house, y'all. A Wisconsin native. I'm not from Wisconsin. Wisconsin. Cheese. Cheese, yeah. Cheese heads. Green Bay Packers. <laughs> That's the only All right, two So, start out with this on the outside. Okay. Give it some elbow grease there. there. That's it, right there. Don't be a sissy with it. Would you rather stand or would you rather sit? I don't know. It's actually easier to stand when you're. Okay, so. So get touch this out it first. Touch it on the ESC first. Mm -hmm. Allow that you'll see it change. As soon as it changes, stick the wire to it. There you go. Get down on there. Put it on it. Nope. Nope. Put the uh, push the. Push the soldering iron onto the ESC and let it rest on there. And then touch your wire to it and pull your e or pull your soldering iron away. There you go. So you can stick it on there. That's probably a cold solder, but it might be all right. Let's see. Yeah, here. Let me show you technique real quick. So don't be afraid of it. Don't be afraid of, like, you can actually... Like, see, I'm putting, like, you can touch the board. And the more you put it onto it, the more it changes. And then as it changes, you can actually, like, stick that kind of in there and work it. I held it too long, and that's why you get those spikes. Okay. So you kind of use that. I was being too ginger. Yeah, you can't, yeah, you can't baby it. Just stick it on there. That's what she said. Okay. Where's the tinsel in the Adding a little solder to the clean tip will allow the iron to transfer the temp easier. That's a good tip, Shane. That looked pretty good from what I could see. You can take this too if you're instead of using your fingernails. Yeah, because my nails are there you not go. And having then you can this manipulate jazz. that really easily. Just don't squeeze it when you put it down. <laughs> Boom! Alright, let's check them. They look pretty good. I think we'll let those fly. I don't have fear of them coming off. Was that you? Hubman's over here dying. Did you <laughs> fart? No, he's... You just dying? He's just dying. He's over there, uh... <laughs> over there <laughs> simming <laughs> out and just Retreating. keeps annihilating himself. What up, Jeffrey Logsden? Michael Beer said, get it, girl. All right, switch your standoffs around so you don't melt them. I don't like having this thing I all. just use that. Just, yeah, because it's not going to, even if you put it metal to metal, if you put it rubber up here, then it doesn't slip around. Okay, I was like, ah. Uh... What is it? <laughs> <What>? Scraggleville. <laughs> uh, I wish we could pull your, uh, you your stream <laughs> in. <laughs> that would be funny. I could probably do it. I think I have an HDMI out. This is awesome. I love the, the restream chat because it, it will pull in if people are watching on YouTube, too. Note to self, nails are not compatible. No, I, I... I... Yeah. It's a hard lesson, man. How's our... How's our... I think our dog needs to go in. Yeah. Oh, yeah, so... Oh, okay. Music sounds good too. The whole mix is good tonight. We got nine people watching. How you like that? Hey. How you like I them don't apples? I'm not doing anything spectacular. I'm just farting around. Hopping back there in the back. Uh, 
playing oh, video games. That's right, you told me not to have it. Don't have it over? Over the board. Yeah. Average viewers, max viewers, that's nice. I love the uh, stats that they give you on Restream, it's pretty cool. I think we could use a little bit more background music though. To the stream, let's see how much that changes it. Alright, here we go. Don't be ginger. Well, that's better. Alright. We'll give you guys a little tunes to groove to. Turn our microphone up a tad bit. I think I actually, do I have the ducking on? I don't know. I don't think I do. Oh yes, express to. Oh, you know what the downside is that I can, I can't see, uh. Nice, Jeff. Got done testing race quads for his son. Hopefully those worked well. Yeah, you can't see who's watching. It says Shane Williams is watching, my next door neighbor. What up, Shane? You're welcome to come over and hang out on the live stream with us. They are out, hopefully still enjoying their fire. How's it going over there? Show me what you're working with. I wish I had my little battery pack thingy. Cause then I can just hook that up to this. So just to give you an idea, guys, I've got a uh, my webcam is this camera right here. I'm a normal webcam, but does that help? Some? Not really. Damn it. Some, uh, you want me to redo that metal one or you think you got it? Here's what I would do with that. I would pull it off, pull the wire off. Mm -hmm. Uh-oh, she got text messages. Yeah. Go ahead. Um, pull the wire off and then um, there's some excess solder on there and you get it off. So, yep. Now, take your soldering iron kind of like put it on there and get it hot and then just kind of wipe to try and get it to stick to the soldering iron. Yep, so now you see how it flaked off there? Try mm -hmm. and pull that off. So you gotta get it hot. Alright, hold it on there. There you go. Alright, now you got a nice ball. That's what you want to work with. That's exactly what you need to do. Quick! The RMRC mat. Here. Ten your ten your tip with it. Just a little bit. A little bit more. Keep going. Get it to stick on there. You're holding it over the build too. There you go, that's fine. Now just like sh kind of shake it off under the boot. Uh the dimensions of the ready made RC mat. I don't know. Let me look. It's probably on the website. They are 11 and 3 quarter. That's like shit. I'll get it if you need me to. Yeah. 11 and 3 quarter by 19 and a half. <clears throat> oh yeah, that's a cold solder right there. 
See how it's kind of like, see how it pulled right off? It's okay. You gotta learn somehow. Probably need a little bit more solder on these. Uh, you want to put some more on those ones too before you start. So you just bring in your solder. You get yourself a good glob on each one. You stick it on there and get it hot. And, and this will make it easier to attach them. So let's come back in. I'll let you do it. Actually, these things you probably will use. Ideally, we'd have some snips. See how all that stuff went flinging? Mm -hmm. That's exactly what you don't want to do. This is why the jig is. Do these again, or you want me to? I could try. <sighs> Sean said, "Don't get, don't get discouraged." I still cold solder. <laughs> yep, that's right, man. We all do. What up, Matt Williamson? What'd you do? He's killing the other, other side. Other side. Oh. Yeah, soldering is is probably the hardest part of builds is like perfecting the the like technique of you know making sure that everything is hot like I my method is more I will pre tin and get nice big old globs on there so that way when I hit it with the soldering iron and put the wire to it I can hit it on the ESC and then when I touch the tinned wire to it it just basically like sucks the wire into it and uh, and that is kind of my technique for going into the ESCs and really any soldering but I think the key is like un understanding the point of which you've held it on there too long and you need to retin uh, once it starts like you pull the soldering iron away and it does that spike thing then uh, then you just need to re tin or, or get some solder off and put some new what on. What do you think about that second one? I think it's crap. Yeah, it's just got a little excess on it. Sorry. Next, uh, before you I put those on, these. I would retin those. Yep, and I would retin your yeah. leads. Those actually all look pretty good. I think those other ones got ripped off, and that's why they were so jacked. So short. So I just need to retin. Parker, that, that spite things mean means more flux if you got it. That's right. Parker. Parker Russell in the house. Parker. What frame is this? John Ki or Josh Kaiser says this is a. Um, one more time, what is it? Slimfast 2.5 um, by RC Crazed. This is a frame that I bought a long time ago. Um, flux pin is your savior. Yeah, I need to get a flux pin. Uh, my mom wants to know who Sir is in the background. Tell him I love him. Parker, that is my dude, Ryan. Um, and I wish that. I wish that um, you were at the Junk Time Get Down because he was there, but. Um, he's actually simming out on the simulator he and I went tonight um, so he's from Colorado and he's um, from Springfield well yeah he's from here and um, and so we've been friends since what the fourth or fifth grade or something like that and uh, and we grew up pretty much well I'm what five years older than you something like that four years old oh that's okay so I'm only a few years older than him 
So, anyways, uh, we've just known each other for a long time and hung out and rode BMX and stuff like that together earlier on in life and um, and snowboards and all of that stuff. And like, what, two years ago now? Year and a half ago? He moved out. Yeah, when you moved to Colorado. Two years ago, he moved to Colorado. So I go out, whenever I go to Colorado, I always stay with Ryan at least a day, if not more. He's always welcoming and lets me, I actually have an air mattress that we just keep at his house <laughs> and I just blow it up in the living room. But he's got a couch now, so I don't need that air mattress anymore unless my wife goes. But uh, but yeah, we, uh, we've been friends for a really long time and every time he comes home and uh, visits its mom and, and uh, family and stuff, he makes sure that he stops by here, which is an honor and a privilege that uh, we get to see him and that he hangs out for so long with us. But uh, but yeah, so that's Ryan. I've known him forever and he's just hanging out in the background, simming out. We went and flew earlier. Um, we each got two packs in and his he has not um, flown any acro. And so um, today he, he went out and flew um, an angle mode pack and I convinced him to um, to switch over to Acro for his second battery, and he did a lot of backwards flying and mistaken yaw movements. Um, but all in all, it was a successful, like, uh, at least he flew. Uh, Trevor, he's playing the liftoff simulator. And uh, so, yeah, he's getting some sim in. So we all know that simulating helps 100% uh, helps you... Uh, in the end, if you look in here, see if there's some electrical tape. What do you think about those? Which were? Uh, that one. Oh, you mean electrical tape that the kids tape their heads with? Yeah, those look pretty good. So, yeah. so then I would take these and just, um, as they come out of here, just get them flat <laughs> on the frame like so. And then just take a piece, uh, wait, pull it off of there. You only need about this much. Cut me tape. Oh my bad, bro. What you doing over there? I'm only, I'm only helping you. <laughs> I was gonna say some like I'm only helping you solder shit. <laughs> what? But I thought that I would keep that comment <laughs> to myself because you're doing a pretty good job. You hear the cat? Yeah. That's not ours. I know. It's the yellow one. He was out there earlier. It's early. Riley. Riley, yeah. I always forget his name. <laughs> Trying to get my old man into it, AJ Lux says. Tried straight acro only and he's, he, he took discouraged, I think. Yeah, you know, that's the downside is like, the people that, it, angle mode is an inhibitor, really. It's a handicap. It's, it is, it's, it's, I wouldn't call it a handicap. It just doesn't allow you to learn the proper way to fly acro I mean it gives you goggle vision if you want to call it that and familiarizes you with being in the goggles but I really think that in the end if you just go straight into acro when you start the FPV stuff that you're you're gonna progress faster you just have to it's right there you just have to understand that if you're gonna have crashes you're gonna suck at first <laughs> and that the freaking simulator are you doing better than when you started you're gonna fly sideways. Are you doing? So it clicked then, like the forward motion. Yeah, yeah. From what? From when he first started playing the sim? What? A half hour ago, probably is all he's been playing it. Maybe, mm -hmm. maybe a little bit more. Well, we've been live for a half hour, and he was playing a little bit before that, but. Still, moved up to 13th on the Christmas Swoop map with, uh... What do you think about that? Uh, 
I mean, it looks okay. Okay. I, not... I mean, I don't know. I'm just saying. All right, next. Hit up Rotor. Oh, oh. Thank Got you. you. Rotor Rush, yeah. Rotor Rush is another one, Ryan, that's uh, Tiny Whoop based, yeah. So you can race Tiny Whoops. It's made by, um, uh, I can't think of the company name. Oh, another sim. Yeah, it's another sim. First couple of flights, nothing wrong with assisted flight. Yeah, you're, you're totally right, Sean. <clears throat> and he's actually had several flights and can fly a whoop around his apartment and stuff like that, so there's no... There's no reason why he wasn't ready for it. He has definitely flown multiple times um, angle mode. Or just been in the goggles in general. Not as clean as I like him, but I'll accept it. Uh, this one needs fixed. Uh oh. Oh, you about to take off? I am building a quad right now. A what? drone. A little too flight. much drone. Sounds amazing. Yeah. You say it was your best flight? If you need to go. Yes. She's deucing. So I'm going to take over the live build with my build. How about that? Let me scoot over here into the main vein. She has been uh, waiting on a very important phone call that she just received, so we're going to move over to my uh, my build that I got going until she comes back, and then we'll switch back over to that one. Well, what's everybody doing on this fantastic Saturday evening? Like those prints, going to come out clean. It does come out clean, man. I had a red one. And it looked fantastic, and those things are just going to look even better. Alright, so I am putting on a Talon F7. So pretty much this whole build uh, that I am doing with my quad is, um, is all going to be free. Uh, free stuff. Tyler in the house. Wait, did I did I see? See, I don't see these notifications of who's here unless I'm looking at my phone. So yeah, guys, fun builds tonight. I'm I'm putting together basically a free heli uh, or a free quad, whatever. And I got this fancy. Uh, 20 by 20 flight controller. How you doing over there? I wish you could see some of this. Some of it I'm going to Building a coffee table, Michael Beer says. That sounds interesting. This is coffee table uh, for your living room. I love that you can tune in to a live stream and just chill at your house and build a coffee table. Oh, the Burning Man webcast. Yeah, Jay and everybody's out there. I wonder, did uh, did Jesse make it out? Jesse Perkins? I'm sure that he did. I don't believe he would miss that for his life. But I saw uh, Jay and Ian's uh, little trailer that they got set up and they're water supply and all of that stuff was pretty legit looking got a bounce Sean says tell Nicole she's doing great I will as soon as she comes back thanks for tuning in Sean love it when you're here man he didn't go this year I'll be darned I know he was struggling having or finding tickets That's a good thing or not. 
Jordan Temkin in the house. Jet, everyone. Champion from DRL season one and two. Is that right, Jet? One and two? We just over here building stuff. I should hold things up in front of the camera a while because it looks like I'm staring down at my crotch while I'm working on stuff. Or at least hold it over here, right? All right, so I need some three or M3 hardware. But I got that I did. all soldered up dude she's ready to solder on leads for uh oh, 2.5 inch rich what's that the track course whatever a shipping container house shipping container place. oh 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 yeah yeah I know what you're talking about. I bet that was really loud, me sifting through these things. Sorry, guys. I'm on the hunt for some specific hardwares. There is one thing that I like here when you're around is that you, when you hum. You are constantly humming. Trevor's holding uh, some Rotor Rush racing right now. Get on over there and hang out with him if you want to do some racing. Marcus Coyle in the house, my boy. What number are you right now, Marcus? I swear, man. I need to order some... Uh, Nylon hardware. Total Pittsburgh dad, by the way. Or whatever. 216. That's still pretty good. That's sport class, dude. Right? I mean, you gotta go. Florida. Why wouldn't you? I am building, and I should hold it up in front of here. Um, I'm building a... Oh, this thing is a Acro Brat out of parts that I have won from all of these uh, drawings that I've entered myself into over the summer. And my wife, who is on a phone call right now uh, with her brother, is building a two and a half inch, um, I keep on forgetting what the hell it's called and then I have to pull the packaging out. Slim Fast, thank you Hutman. Uh, she's building a two and a half inch slip and fast hard pass. Is that on the Florida thing? Hard pass on the don't want to go to Florida. I want to go to Florida. I need to, uh, I'm going to a qualifier tomorrow. So I'm aiming for you, bro. Oh my God, dude. I swear to God, I'm looking for a freaking nylon nut. And I'm about to go to the floor with it. Because I know I'll find one. Like, right away. <laughs> Can I really find 
stuff that's a Weber. I mean, if you if you dial it in on the sim, it's pretty similar. Your your controls are going to be like minimally different. And yes, he just really just said, can I really fly like this in real life? <laughs> because of how much of a drastic improvement he's made on the sim already. But yes, it will, it will definitely improve. So go to Florida, go get it. Link the race for you. Oh, okay, I will. Yeah, I'll make sure you got. I'm sure I'll link it up. Half the time, I don't. I think that half the time I always wind up logging into my Facebook so they can stream on my Facebook or their YouTube because of the difference in the outreach. Uh oh, did I stop the music? Oh yeah, Power. just did like a tap. Yeah, the one that's gone. Yeah, I, I'm just searching around for a freaking nylon nut right now. I swear to God, how stupid is that? Fancy pants. I'm pretty stoked about this thing. The cave race? I don't know. Cave race? Oh, I bet it's down at the Kentucky cave where it always is. I didn't know they were having that this year. Okay, so that'll work. Missouri, the the cave race that they they've done in the past has been in Kentucky. <laughs> Spreading love in the chat. We all know Parker loves everybody. Where's my chat on here? There it is. <laughs> okay. I wish I could find one more nylock. Oh, it's actually not even a nylock, it's just a nylon. Just rob it off of this one. <laughs> Robbing Peter to pay Paul over here. All right. Old ones are in Kentucky. Yes. Hundred fifty dollar buy-in. Seems like a lot. Why do they make ESCs like this? So here's my dilemma. Every ESC that I put into these things, well, not I shouldn't say every, but a, a vast majority of the ESCs that go into these, for some odd reason that's really crooked, but the vast majority of these they mount, they, they're set to mount like this. So your ESC wires come in from the side. 
And I personally, and maybe I'm alone here, but I would rather my ESC not like this, because then my wires can come right in there and then not like exposed, but then I guess that leaves that exposed, I don't know. Maybe I'm just weird. Parker, they were in Kentucky the last two times for that race. So, I have no idea of the plan this time around. I didn't even know that they were having it again. Um, but, according to this chat, they are. But, it was in the caves in Kentucky the last time. Okay, I think my standoffs are going to be a little too short. Main lead out of the side is awesome, too. Yeah, I know. That's why I like it can't stand like where am I supposed to run the lead then I gotta have this big old long lead that comes out of where where does it come out of the top plate on the uh, on this frame there's the top plate yeah he's got a little fancy hook on his but there's not like a oh yeah see even his has the lead coming out of the side so Look at this. So he bought this, right? He bought this off of somebody. And they were running series 3 cell packs to put 6S through this. And these things are 2300 KV 1408s. I don't know. No, it's not. No, it's not. I'm, it's not you. It's the guy. Like, why wouldn't you just run a, a 6 cell battery, but Hey. It was, a it was a too small of a frame to run a 6 cell battery. You just gotta get a lower. That's what it looked like. You just gotta get a lower, smaller, but like a 6 cell, you can take those two 650s that you have and together those are a 6 cell. So if you buy a 6 cell 650, that's the size that it will be. So this stack sucks. Or this, I mean, not the stack, this standoff set that I got here sucks because I don't think I'm going to be able to build it because I don't have the right length of stuff. Well, Parker, you know what? You're right. That does sound like it's going to be a heavy quad, but funny enough, I just won these motors myself, and they're 1408s, 2850s. So this is probably going to be a 6-cell, too. If, I mean, minimum 5-cell, but most likely a 6-cell, 3-inch. Three, three uh oh, Marcus is posting Facebook links. Let's see what's what's the deal. What is it? Oh, Mega Dronex. Okay, is it in Kentucky like we said? Well. There's no update to it, and I'm not part of the group. So I don't think it'll let me in. I don't know, maybe you can tell me. 170 buy-in for three days. Troy Nakin in the house? What's going on, dude? I like Troy. Troy likes controversy and peace all at the same time. Oh, what have I got going on here? Maybe we can uh, kill that. Bring the chat back down to small. Join you guys. I'll add you. I did join. Split S is this. 
where you, you're flying straight and you kind of elevate and you flip 180, roll 180, and then come down out of it. Go back the way that you came into it. Thanks, Parker. Ugh, I'm tired. My wife got to come back and finish her build. See, I, I wasn't prepared for mine, so... I'm just farting around at this point. Maybe I could throw some dampeners between the two boards as opposed to an actual. Man, yeah, watch the video. Right. Huh? That's what I did. What? Do you mean? what? Dampeners? No, I just need a different sta set of standoffs. you probably don't have permission no you probably have to be like a an admin or something to add people or they just have set it to where only the admins can actually add new users hey man I'm trying my guess is Marcus that I mean I guess I don't know speaking of um, February and racing I've got a pretty big event planned Here, put this in your back so it'll sit on it I got a pretty big event planned <clears throat> in um, Yeah, the two previous ones were in Kentucky You done? You gotta, pee. You gotta take a break from Simmons because he's gotta go pee He's probably been shaking <laughs> Didn't want to go because he was so un into this. Uh, but yeah, the last two have been in. Uh, have been in Kentucky. I keep looking up, and I so I got the YouTube playing the music for the background music or whatever, and I keep looking up, and that the chat on it is like rolling, and I'm like, dang, comments. Oh wait, that's not my chat. Oh my goodness. Well, I guess it's just you and me tonight. Put some new standoffs on this thing. Maybe get it actually working right. Yeah, I know the 2018 was definitely uh, one that they canceled. Uh, it was originally being planned, and then um, something happened, and uh, they ended up canceling it. with it? No clue. What event are you hosting? Whoop. Marcus, Marcus says, yes, Marcus. Uh, so I was talking about that and then I got sidetracked. Um, yes, I am hosting a Whoop race 
uh, and it's really exciting because it is going to be at a really unique location um, so I'm not going to disclose that location quite yet uh, because all planning and preparation is not done although it is set in stone we are doing it um, I just have some details to work out and I have to meet with the Whoop Brothers group and get us all on the same page and then um, we'll do a, a cool announcement for it um, but I've been working on it for since April uh, April 1st was the, the first initial email that I sent out to the place to kind of try and gain some interest in having a whoop race there and it's a very aviation specific facility uh, with lots and lots of really awesome history uh, inside so it should be it should be pretty unique I want to get the uh, you know the best pilots that I can get to come in town and and put on a show it's gonna be um, more than just a whoop race um, we're gonna have demos and ideally we could get pilots who may be interested and don't cut qualifiers or um, something like that uh, to come down and and do demos and stuff like that we're gonna have a a little area to fly, etc., etc. So it should be pretty neat. All whoop race or all whoop related stuff. Um, it'll be all indoors. So yeah, it should be an interesting thing. But um, but it's in a a place of aviation history. Tommy Polo is watching. That's exciting. What up, TP? Hope you're liking your new job. Did you start your new job, or did you only have your last day of your old job? Tommy got himself a new gig. Oh, I think she's ready. Are you done? No. She's not done. Still you and me. Need to fix your TBS with what you got one of them little nanos. I have not tried one. I wish I could just find four of the same size standoff. Like, you know, you find the perfect length and then you can't find four of that length. That is my struggle right now. need to dump them all out, but then I don't want to. Well, on yours? You probably can. You just need to have a decent running computer. <laughs> all your computers are probably capable of running it. Because there is nothing special about that laptop. I mean, it's just an old Mac. I just have the settings dumbed way down. and So Hutman, Hutman's been simming for a while now and he's stoked on his own progress which is a good thing I like that I like that Parker I want to join too Are you what what uh, map are you playing? I'm at the Oh my god, this is so annoying. The struggle is real. This one's too long. Oh my god, no it's not. Perfect. You got the heads. Got the head bob gone. They're uh, 
TV. How do you pick your bolts up off of your mat? That's probably not the most effective way. Probably use this fancy little TBS thing and scoop them up. Bloop. Perfect reuse of a TBS instruction card. Now you use your fancy little magnet. Yep. Well, you're going on an hour probably right now, so keep going. So I think I picked the sad, the sad song for the background music right now. It's actually just a free music thing. Is this frame symmetrical? It is. Side, any side, who cares? The thing that determines it's the. Maybe mount your flight controller canopy. Dun dun dun! She's back. You're so lucky. That was so bad. Were you tooting in there? Oh, I did. Hey, you guys know women fart too, and my wife does a lot of it. <laughs> Bro, so like much protein. Dusted from the kitchen all if you the way saw her here. guns, you'd probably get your eyes poked out. Gross. Did you bring in? Did you bring it with you? I tried not to. Particles. <laughs> so as you can tell we have all been friends for a really long time <laughs> i've been with my wife for 16 years and well i've known hutman for a lot longer so we've all been friends for a really long time <laughs> so sometimes you have to fart uh-huh so sorry but <laughs> hey so. i know i know people that that have known each other for years and will not fart around each other. That's not I'm not Forget one. that. That's not me. I'm farting. Hey, someone's speaking in Espanol. That's not our comments. Oh. I, I, <laughs> I even <laughs> said that earlier. I was like, oh, I'm watching the YouTube feed and I keep seeing all these comments. I'm like, yeah, comments. They're Spanish. Okay, so where am I at? I do have an next class. Your wife also arm wrestles and could definitely kick most of our asses, probably. <laughs> Who said that, <laughs> Parker? Parker. <laughs> uh, I do have an ex-class. All right, where am I at, babe? Come on, help me out. Yeah, but he, he uh, Parker, he redeemed himself. Um, what ass was? At West Coast Throwdown. So you, now you have to put the stack on. Doesn't matter uh, which one. That, it, yeah, it doesn't matter which one, <laughs> okay. actually. So this one goes on next, and it slides right on those standoffs, and those little holes go into those little holes. Sweet. 
So, so you gotta line way. it up right. Yep, that is correct. Make sure you hold the line up. Shove it in there. <sighs> okay, so we're gonna have to pull it off, but that is at least what I what you're good. So these are See right here it says there's a negative, a cam, and a five V. Okay. And then a negative, a VTX, and a bat. Okay. Right? So that means bat is battery powered, mm -hmm. so it's getting as much power as you're plugging into the lead. Uh, VTX is your output wire to your VTX. It's going to be the yellow wire that goes to this. So it'll be in this harness. You'll have black, red, and yellow, right? And in the VTX, you have negative, black, yellow is VTX, and red is bat. Got it? See? Bloop, okay. bloop, bloop. Then on this, this goes to, I'm sorry, reverse that. This one goes to those. Say, so, same deal. Black is negative, yellow Black VTX, is, mm -hmm. red is battery. Yeah, and then on that, that's the cam. So that's going to be negative. Black. And then cam is the yellow. yellow. And then 5V is, is the battery. The battery, yeah. Which is the red. Exactly. And then we've got the, tran or the receiver input, which is this wire. So we'll have to strip that and shorten it and all that. But you're going to have a 3.3 volt a negative and one that says spec. How do you even read that shit? What, do you mean? what am I like? It says, oh, it says DSM right there. Okay. That's DSM 3V3 uh -huh. and negative. And this 5V is. Your, your fingers are so big that you like cover everything. Okay. So I take this off, solder it, stick it uh, back on. Well, not really. You don't have to do that for that. You're taking it off and soldering one pad on, which is this TX3. And that's going to be what you're going to solder this right here to. And that's going to be your smart audio, which is allows you to change your channels um, and s manipulate the quad from within your goggles from the transmitter. So your first thing that you need to do is you need to take this piece of solder here and put this, clean the soldering iron, and then we'll take this guy. Where's your little clip? So you take this, shove that in there, and then retin this pad right there. this one. Yep. So just stick your, yep, stick that on there first and then touch your solder like in the corner of it and get a good ball on there. That's good. And then retin that green. Use your solder. solder that to that. Boom, that's a good looking solder too. Okay, so now we're going to retin all of these. So we'll do these six and you can do them three at a time and then solder the components to it or you could just retin all of them and then solder them together you really, I mean you can but you don't have to clean it I don't clean mine that much yay why is boba tea so insufferable <laughs> I don't vape smoke frog yeah she's reading the comments Huh? Something's over here in all of this skill. This can't be me. I'm not this legit. I'm diving through this a minute ago. Weird because I'm looking at it upside down.
What do you think of them bubbles? Look oh. at them. Hey, help me. This belongs to you. Uh, yeah, uh, that third one needs a little work. Is it going? Is it a through hole? You're not. You gotta. Look. Let me show you what you're doing. Ready? You won't touch the board. You can hit the uh I'm just gonna turn these for you right. No, it's not rain, it's uh I think it's the C button. Hit C. <laughs> I've never seen nice nails during a bill video. <laughs> I just saw that now. Oh Kobe Kobe Cortella was watching. Good night, Marcus. Okay, okay, so we're going to pop this off of here and stick these in. And get a quick retent on this. cable so you're gonna take this and you have this side these three mm -hmm. are your VTX side. black is negative, negative. yellow red yep mm -hmm. you did you just retend those yeah <clears throat> when you do those these ones specifically try to solder them more do you have a little pinchy? Then crooked. Uh, somewhere. Uh, good luck. It's a lot like the rest of my garage. M most of the time I know where it's at, but those are actually a hot commodity. But the wires are so thin, you don't have to get them so hot. So you should be able to get them fairly easily without having to hold on to the wire a long time. Cut them off? Yeah. Did you bring a laptop with you? of your computer because that I, I don't know if you can get a demo of that but um, yeah but at least you'll know oh shoot there's chats on the uh, from YouTube what's up RDFPV RD we are building the um, uh, this is a two and a half inch um, dang, this is like the third time 
um, RC crazed slim fast um, I've just had this frame for a really long time and we were gonna build the wife a three inch money and decided that it would probably be more logical for her to fly a two and a half uh, especially with the components that I have available I was trying to not buy a whole bunch of new stuff uh, but it's going well she's actually never used a soldering iron before and looking at the solder you guys can't see uh, joints that she's done so far uh, they're pretty good you could probably get that one a little bit better see how you got a little bit of wire hanging out there oh, like the red? Bet bet yeah between the uh, shield oh. of the wire and that so you want to get as much of that in there as possible Clyde flies and I hanging with y'all yeah buddy RD said congratulations for you thanks RD I'm sure she says the same thing she's uh you know as we all know I don't know if uh, how many of y'all have significant others or whatever but uh, we definitely know that uh, it's a rare occasion when they want to jump into something with us like this especially the nerd world of drones and stuff but okay. better yeah much better cool. so the other side is those other those wires yeah retend those the other the, the pads on the board have been done ah. so you just need to stick the wire in the jig and tend them up yes this is her first time with a soldering iron <laughs> and I will say she's doing really good but my first time with a soldering iron I didn't have anybody to tell me how to do it or show me how to do it you're just jacking it so on I it. learned by myself and then I realized really fast that my iron wasn't hot enough here sorry. come over here Stick that, on here. that was Chewbacca in the background just for anybody that was wondering mm -hmm. oh a Windows 7 with no video card installed <laughs> hey are, is this enough wire exposed on these I thought you were gonna mm. yeah well yeah that should be good just retin them. I did. You already did? I just did. Okay. That's what I'm saying. Like. Then, yeah, I mean, that should be fine. What else? I got these Yeah? They're gonna be like twins, dude. Yeah, did I reinstall this or did somebody else? You started to. We had to leave or something. So is it over here on this, uh, this one or is it these? It's those ones, yeah. These. Yep. You see a negative? Yeah, the negative, the yellow, and then the black, or the red. How long were you here till? Like the seven, six or seven. Why are you here so long? Just birthday time? Yeah. And I left today early. When is it? The 13th? Your birthday? Yeah. But my sister's moving on the 19th. Oh, okay. So my parents will be in. She's moving to Maryland. Yeah, they're driving U Haul and then Jamie's flying by himself. Oh, cool. It's an i3, so. Maybe. I, th I think you can run a demo. <coughs> and then at least we can get your uh, receiver dongle hooked up. And, but this needs some other stuff. Uh, press and hold the power button. Some comments probably. No, yeah. Definitely has skills so far, RD says. Hey, we should do a poll. Um, I need a FPV name. Uh, so FPV pilot uh, handle. Yeah, uh, yeah, handle. So I need some ideas. Yeah, this is about as basic as basic as I 
I know Parker's gonna have something. <laughs> My name is Nicole. Aunt Nicole, duh. <laughs> Parker. Is that what he said? <laughs> Sanders, what, what are up, you dude? building? We're building a two and a half inch slim, slim fast, like the drink, <laughs> <laughs> except different. All right, those are done. Uh, so now you need uh, the this. Ow, motherfuck! Two times, two times he's burnt himself on this. <laughs> That's hot. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna cut this down to about mm, yeah. That looks good. Hopefully okay, we're doing enough. this. These ones. Uh, yeah, but there's four there, and you only want three. I want the negative, the three U three, and the. That is a V, but three yes. Three V three. Three V three, and then the D sticks. <laughs> D sticks. D S M X. That's an I. I. That's an I. Come on now. Okay, it's only called D S M. Does a T and I? I'm saying sticks. That's some crap. Why not Nicole FPV? Uh, ah, come on, guys. I think the FPV post post name FPV is like I I think Doug Crasher, DJ Doug Crasher, whatever. Bot grinder hit it on the head with. The FPV thing is like 2017, because that's when I added FPV to my name, but only because I knew that nobody would be like, who's Kelly? Or actually, everybody would be like, who's Kelly? But Keele. At is that least, the, yeah. Or Keele, or Kyle, or Keel. That's Nicole for short. Nikki? Does she like Nikki or... Uh, I like arm wrestling people. <laughs> People hit her up on Instagram to arm wrestle all the time. It's hilarious. Arm wrestling is code for slipping into the DMs. Ew. <laughs> That's what people do these days. Oh, man. Did you all turn right. those? Yeah, these, yes. Yeah. So I got this one, this one. This one. Yeah, negative 3.3 and, and the DSMX. So the negative is black. Yeah. This is the yellow. And this N is. No, this is the. This is signal. This is power. And this is ground. Yes, yeah, so this, this is, is not negative. yellow. Yellow is only relevant with video. That's signal. So the 3v3 is the red. Correct. Alright. My mom's watching. What's up, Claudus? You should be in bed. If Claudus is up right now, I'm Man, impressed. Man, stream is firing right now, too. 3,200K. 1115, yeah. She's watching the news. <laughs> Guarantee it. They're laying in bed. Greasy's Just already asleep. The news. Greasy's been yeah, asleep. Yeah, he's snoring. Keeping everything. Go ahead, away. Mom. Tell us about it. Tell me we're lying. Tell me we're lying. Our RDF uh, PV, you are the only one in the uh, the YouTube chat, but I'm actually on Restream, and I have Facebook uh, comments coming through too. So you aren't seeing the Facebook comments. So I'm I'm talking. If you want to see all the rest of the comments, you can actually look me up on Facebook. It's Kelly spelled the same way as you see it on my YouTube but my last name is Stanley and then you'll see all of our comments or all of everybody's comments so just so you know that is why you aren't seeing them all no it's not gonna focus it's not gonna focus guys I wonder if I can make it focus oh it says I got low battery power I probably should plug low that in low battery huh? otherwise we're gonna lose that camera 
Evening, Kelly. Alright, there we go. What up, Jaren? That's one of my ready-made teammates. Okay, I don't know if there's a... Wait, wait, here we go. Alright, move it away a little. There. Let's see. No, it's stupid. It says focus is locked. Sorry, I was trying to show you guys. Whatever. Some, trying to show you some real bad Anyways, skills. Mom says she's watching from bed. <laughs> <laughs> we assume. <laughs> okay, now what? Okay. I can put so, it on. we got everything done mm -hmm. there. Yeah. Yep. So, stick it on there. And then, I need to find you a receiver. That is the hot commodity. They are watching Dr. Pohl. Greasy's still up? This is... This is insanity. <laughs> <laughs> he must have been on his fourth nap for the day or something. <laughs> yeah. That one, uh, is there, is there a quad in the truck? I don't know. I don't know. you flew the other day? I don't know what you did with it. Huh? Yeah, we are in the truck. It's Labor Day weekend, everybody's getting wild. <laughs> I know. I'm excited to fly this. This is 2.5. That's the three. Haha, <laughs> Parker got you on grammar. Ben Jammin said Clyde feels Clyde feels flies? No, Clyde feels they're going to the Gulf Coast in the morning. That sounds like fun. Greasy is uh, cooking pork chops on the grill tomorrow. Mm. You mean he started cooking them yesterday? <laughs> <laughs> For realsies though, I'm gonna have to rob one off the Silver Slipper Casino, here we come. Eh. Huh. She's got some serious back scratchers. More like beard getters. Yeah. I love Parker.
We're just waiting on Kelly, guys. That's, you know. Uncle Kelly just can't find a receiver right now. Look, no one asked you to give up everything. You told me you got me something. <laughs> love is FPV is love. Love is love. The YouTube chat is rough. <laughs> yeah, because there's only one. What are these? Motors for that. For this? Mm hmm. Where are you put these on? Extras. Okay. Alright. I gotta do another scan for that other quad. Okay. This is buried in here. Where are How do you spell? Kelly's last name, Stanley, S T A N L E Y, like the steamer, the carpet cleaner, or the hammer tool thing. Your carpet's cleaner. That is a Runcam Swift Micro 2. Okay. We're gonna go in here and we gotta make ourselves a new. You know, we can use one of these old ones. Oh, they told me that there is one. Where's Ben at? We've been. Yeah. I'm wearing my hot dog hat. I've been wearing it all day. Okay, we'll put it under the tooth fairy. Good night, <coughs> Mima and Greasy. Tell your mother good night. Good night, Mom. Okay, yeah, this one's set up. Okay. So, first off. RDFPV said he tried to find you, but couldn't. On Facebook, you mean? Greasy is snoring. Of course he is. I got you, RD, here. If you wanna, <laughs> if you wanna be able to, uh, if you wanna be able to see everybody else's comments, you can go to the, uh, the YouTube or the Facebook stream. All right, I need a battery for that. Which is gonna be here. Mm. Okay. So first thing we need to do. Oh, we're gonna have to put a camera on there. Can't forget about that. We'll just rob all the parts from that thing. But first off, we'll get this thing attached. So, go ahead and plug in and pray. Hopefully, we don't get any smoke. Make sure the battery is plugged the proper way. It's a good thing that it's directional. Otherwise, we would have a smoked uh, quad right now. Okay, so I heard no ESC chimes. So, that's a bad thing. Everything is plugged in properly. So that means we don't have communication with the flight controller. Although the flight controller is lighting up, something is awry. I have to rob parts off of that one. Okay. Just 
stack is seated nicely other than that right there. Hey, but the benefit of all of that is that we did not see <coughs> a big poof of smoke. But if you remember, we had issues with that thing disconnecting from itself too. Oh! ESC make it. Oh yeah, the ESC should make the tones either way. So maybe we have a bad ESC here, babe. Everything is hooked up correctly. Nothing is grounded to the frame. All that work, hard work, hard work for nothing. Yeah, you guys are right though. The ESC should uh, should make a noise. Kelly's giving me bad equipment to work with, guys. This was actually all new stuff. These two flight, this flight controller and I think he's lying ESC. to me. So it's not getting main power because it's powering the board, which makes absolutely no sense. No weird smells. <sighs> nope. It's really weird. That's I'm I'm a pretty seasoned vet. <laughs> I like to think that I know what I'm doing, but, uh, yeah, nothing. It's really weird. Let's try a different battery. First steps of troubleshooting, start with the easiest thing. Doo -doo -doo. Alright, so my guess is that that battery was a bit low, and I can tell right now that these pins need separated. Alright, we're back to... Back on the... Back on the door here, or whatever. Alright, cool. We got tones. Alright, so now we're waiting on a orange flash for the auto bind. That is not the orange flash that we want. Does this need to be on? No. Everything is wired properly. There's a this is an auto bind, so it's actually supposed to be flashing really fast, but it's flashing really slow. It just comes on and flashes. wasn't it, but okay. I think I can hope, huh? Oh, it's got this really weird slow flash. Like it's supposed to have a fast pulsating, I don't know, maybe try to throw it on the 5 volt pad and see what happens. Save it. 
Oh, I'm gonna save it. Dang it. Fire's out. Alright. Not the same thing, just brighter. <laughs> Maybe I just have a bad, uh, bad receiver. Why though? We're just trying to finish this build off. Hey, you know what you can do? Uh, you can pull the camera off of that and put it into your camera holder. So you'll need the red handled 1.5, I think. And then, yep. Stomach just went. Actually, it was not the stomach at all. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna need you to step outside with me for a moment. Ew. <laughs> like, did you good? Good God, did you already? Smells like it might have seeped out a little bit or something. <laughs> okay, yeah. What's the deal with that? Look. Normally, it holds and then it starts flashing, and I'm just getting this weird... Like, almost dim flash. Stupid. It's just absolutely stupid. At one point in time, I probably had 10 of these freaking ESC, or these uh, receivers, and now I have very few. It's not the ESC that I'm trying to get. It's the oh, it's the receiver. Super receiver. Yeah. So worst case, I can just pull one from my other quad. So this goes uh, in here, mm -hmm. and then we got to get you some standoffs, which are in here. Ben! Finally in the house. There we go. Hey. Hi, Ben. What's up, Ben? Benjamin. Ryan says hi too, Ben. Okay, so I don't know if I even have enough what? 25. What standoffs? These are standoffs. Uh, okay. And I didn't say what were they. I said what one. Is this mine? No. We gotta have 25, so that's the thing. It's like a shark fin. Yeah. Dun. We are building a two and a half inch. Um, what's it called, Nick? It is a slim fast, like a drink. Makes you go. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. All right, we got a mix. Mixed uh, plethora of standoffs. You're gonna need some M3 screws. So you're also gonna need this. That's how we do God, things. God, I just wrong. leaned right into your fart. <laughs> it wasn't mine. So gross. <laughs> it wasn't me. All right. Well, how am I putting this together? Okay. So the standoffs go in these four places here. So we're going to push these wires up, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And these wires back, and then you're putting standoffs in those four. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. you run the screw from the bottom. What screw am I using? You, you got your choice. Mm -hmm. Short, m mild length ones. Yeah, that's probably fine. 
it's a little long, but like ones like that, like that. My ghetto nails make this very difficult. BTW, yeah. if y'all's females have nails like these, tell her to cut them off. Ben said, dang, look at those nails. What's up, Scott Watson? Ryan Delgarno. What up, dude? This is some high quality putting togethers of items. Ben, I hope you know I've been wearing my hot dog hat all day. All day. All day. Just like this, too. Now you can actually see it. I can't see anything else, but... There, I turned it off. <coughs> Rawr nails, he said. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, okay. I got you now. RDFPV. Nice. <laughs> yeah, RD, uh, freaking Ryan, uh, Parker is our love soldier. All day. He's actually FPV's love soldier. Mm hmm. Spreading that love like hot butter. We love Parker. Mm -hmm. I like yelling at Parker. The ant thing to do. <laughs> Damn, that camera is so protected. <coughs> oh, yeah. There's a dude named Stan. You guys in the chat, what's Stan that makes the ducks last name? He um, has some really awesome ducks for the acrobat. Parker is the FPV love child. That is probably an accurate statement. Ben's all about the duck life now. Huh? Yoga. Yeah. Guns. Guns. What's up, Paul Cow? So we just put the standoffs on. Okay, yep. Yeah. And then, um,. So you're going to take these, and these are going to go on the side of your camera like this, with those two screws that you took out of the other. Actually, you're probably going to need some longer ones than that. Does it that matter? That will require some... Ah, oh, motherfucker! That's three times. Three. Three, everybody. Three times you got burnt. Oh my god. Normally I don't have something in which to stand the man. No, let's not stay on the man. Silly. I'll look his name up here in a minute. Alright, let's see. How long are those ones? Super freaking tiny. Yeah, that's probably weird. We put those in here.
And the, the hoops go forward. This ain't the right screwdriver. How are you gonna? <coughs> All right, so they go forward, right? Yeah. Yes, like that. Oh, that's cool. Like yeah, this? you can get glow in the dark filament. Yeah. simple could it be? Is it the Stan FPV? No, that's not him. Yeah, it is. Stan FPV. He has the universal ducted prop something. Let's see. Let's see if he's got one on here for the... He's got ducks for the freaking... Uh, quad that you have, dude. The two and a half. Um, Is that the Baby Hawk? Baby Hawk, yeah. Alright, here's what his ducks look like. Yeah. So anyways, having those on an Acrobat or one of these things would be super dope. Okay. Got that together. <coughs> Ducks look like they look pretty hefty, heavy duty. Okay, Kelly, come on. These people are waiting. Oh, uh, next is you've got this, so you gotta connect your cam to this, and then we need to put. Uh, wait, let's see. So you see how these things have a little like nub. This basically your power lead mm -hmm. goes over here, all the way over. Yep. Mm -hmm. In there, like swimwear. Okay, so we need to put a set of these on top of that flight mm -hmm. controller. Strong arm FPV. Came up with that one. Ben, ben. Formals. <laughs> Thanks, Ben. <laughs> <laughs> Uncle Kelly and Aunt Nicole, Parker said. Bu this build is for Nicole. <laughs> Almost got to chase dirt bikes Monday. Gains. Too many people. Gains FPV. Gains. Gains, yeah. It's got to be with a Z, a Z though. Yeah. Night Scott. Slim fat. <laughs> I can't even put these on. Again, these nails make it impossible. Your girl ain't equipped for this shit. That's a baby, baby standoff. Do you need me to tighten them down for you? Let me get that. I Come on, give it to me. I got it. Get out of here. You got two more to go. Yeet PV. Yeet. No F. Yeet PV. <laughs> I love it. I love it. It's going to have to be Yeet PV. <laughs> I'm stealing that. Fuck her. No. No. Ben gave it to me. Thanks, Daddy Ben. I got it. Yeet. Say derp. That was my original name. <laughs> you need some 
help. <laughs> I can get it. No, let me do it. Don't be coming in here just because you see a damsel in distress trying to... <laughs> it's a struggle for real guys you have no idea wear, wear uh, oven mitts and try to do this <laughs> it's basically the same there is something wrong with this one come on now yeah Your mom. Your mom? SVB? No, this is freaking ridiculous, man. Why don't you just let me do it for Why you? Why don't you just back off my bread? We'd be done by now if it weren't for your nails. Alright, stop. <laughs> I have arthritis by the time I get done with this one. Your arthritis? <coughs> you take turmeric? Seriously? You need to. Alright, that's done. You got the arthritis? He's got the arthritis of the R's. <coughs> it goes, uh, yep. Yep. <coughs> Probably do. Because this plug is gonna go right around room. here and plug into it. Yeah, just like that, and then. You gotta use these on top of that. Are you serious right now? Come on, nails. You want me to get those for you? So you don't lose them? Here, give it to me. No, let me do one. Let me do one to say that I did it, okay? I hope you guys feel my pain right now. Oh, Jesus. Oh, nice. That looks like a rat, rat rod. Mm. Mm. I can't. damn thing before you break something with that. That is how you knock little resistors off right there. <laughs> Try, trying to achieve... I was just going to see if it works. Yeah, until you're like, pow, and then the thing doesn't work. I've done it before. Ask me how I know. How do you know, Kelly? How do you know these things? I know things. It is really freaking... Uh -huh. to burn yourself three times hey it's just because like I have an additional body in my workspace I think he's lying to us fellas it, was that the cat? I think it was Crying we got this away. neighborhood cat what's his name? Riley Riley he's orange he's orange and he just roams the neighborhood but he cries and he is like he sounds like a female in heat He's looking like for it, a friend to hang out with. That's right. He is, he is calling. But normally you hear the females are the ones that are like, eh. Now I'm using your method right here, but I'm going to be a little more careful. Rather than <clears> stabbing <throat> the board. I wasn't... I'm offended that you are... You hey, think I'm so reckless. Welcome. You're part of the community now. And that <clears> I just <throat> wield tools with reckless abandonment. And stabbing... If you don't know, now you know. That's that. Sister. <laughs> <laughs> There's an inside joke about that. I bet. Uh, everybody's thinking it. Can you make the sound the cat makes? <laughs> <laughs> no. Oh, I'm sorry. I guess on this build, these goes backwards. Oh, he's like... Yes, that right there. 
He gets all into it. Okay, I'm not going to build any more on that. Thank because, you. All right, so plug your VTX in. Offended and not reckless FPV. <laughs> 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 Same throughout the whole Animal King. The cat noise. Okay, let's try to make the cat noise for Ben. So he's like, he's like, meow. <laughs> it's just over and over and over. It's, it's like he's, he sits right outside the window where yes. our cat is and does that. It's pretty spectacular, actually. All right, now what? And our cat's like, I don't want to fuck you. I want to fuck you up. <laughs> Get Rawr. up. Rawr. Okay, um, now I'll mount the camera. goes on slides down on those standoffs and the plug goes on top. So like this? Mm -hmm. You gotta put your thumb on top of this or whatever on top of the print and then push it down on there. Yeah you simmed out for like two hours. <laughs> How far down does it need to go? Uh, you want me to push it the rest of the way down? Probably I'm afraid to break it or break my nail. Parker, you gotta be ready for anything. Kelly's over here stabbing the quad. I'm shoving wires in. Actually, I'm shoving a wire in that probably should have been stuck underneath of the... in between there. I'm gonna fix that real quick. <laughs> Getting stabbed. Oh. That is from my straps. Um, my wrist guard straps, not my wrist guards, they're like, when I work out I have straps that <coughs> protect this part and help me grip, and it pinches right there, and it blistered and ripped it open. It did, it felt real good. Soldering iron. I bet a hammer could help the situation. <laughs> hmm. Now he's got scissors out. Six cell batteries. Uh, I have, I have three cells, so I can run like <laughs> that guy was running with yours. But I don't officially have a six cell pack. Not uh, well. I don't have one small enough for that.
So that's that. Mm -hmm. Now we don't have a receiver for you. Um, let's see. This goes on here when you put the. I think it goes. Is that right? It's a shirt fin. Yeah, it goes like that. This uh, top plate goes there. So when we put the receiver in. We'll probably put it right here, and then <clears throat> this slides on to there. So, and it goes like um, this. What are these for? Antennas. Those are for your in you slide your antenna uh, cords down on this. Yeah. So slide that thing down on. Some loud crickets. Can you hear those crickets? They it's probably loud. just one of those noises that cuts through everything. Is that the name of one of your dogs? Mm -hmm. Is that the name of one of your mom's dogs? What okay. kind? Okay. Oh god. The small centipede bin I use. These. These are uh, 450s, and I have some two cells. And I have some three cells. <coughs> the three, th three cells work really well for... Three cells. <laughs> Shut up, guys. I hate both of you. I hate you guys. Shut up. You'll never play my sim again. Oh, I forgot to finish your, your freaking computer, too. It's right behind you. I put... No, oh, you, are you leaving it here and coming back? I mean, if you want me to finish it, I can. But uh, that means you have to come back for it. I don't want it to turn into another yeah. Phantom 3. What? No, <laughs> <laughs> uh, No drones in the desert? No, I doubt Ben would drive all the way there. AJ, he's like a grip away from there. That looks clean, doesn't it? You proud of yourself? You could go ahead and put the top plate on and... Once I figure out an e or a receiver for you, then we can toss it on. That's too bad. That's really weird that I pulled this one off of here and I pulled it right off. And what screws am I using for this top? Oh, here. Let's go ahead and flip that off since we don't have a soldering iron anymore. I want to plug this into here. Does it see. matter? Um, just not super long ones. Just make sure that they go through the top plate and into the standoff enough to where... They aren't going to strip out easily. Okay, what's it do with this? Same thing. Hmm. That's just stupid. Ryan, the build is coming along. She's about done. I couldn't find a, um, I couldn't find a receiver. We got to get her an antenna for the back of there. In fact, I might go ahead and uh, redesign. What are you doing? Trying what's to the, find what's four, the matter? I'm trying to find four same. They don't need to be the same. They don't have to be perfect. Franken quad. Um, I'm trying to. I, I'll probably go ahead and reprint the uh, back end and just print it to where I can. Either just put in a one of these hoot antennas or something like that. You're a hoot. You're a hoot. <laughs> you left the yeah, arm on the cat. there. You hear the cat? <laughs> Probably. 
I was just lazy. <laughs> Did it break or it's yeah. probably broken, yeah. So just just so you guys know, this camera is actually an iPhone. I downloaded this really cool app and it works really well. In fact, it's it's actually over Wi-Fi and the it has no real delay, like some minimal, you can see it, but it's not anything that's really that big of a deal. 1080 stream back to the computer and then I can also plug it in direct which there's zero latency when it's plugged in USB so it's pretty cool because then I can set that up there and then I can turn on my webcam which is up top see there and then I can inlay it like that but then that blocks some of the stuff so whatever but yeah sweet right spiffy what app Good question. The app is called. What you did you? Epoch Cam. E P O C C A M. It's this. Looks like that. And then it gives you options. Dual angle of the dangle. That's all I got. It looks good. And the shark fin. I want to put the shark fin on there. Looks cool. Go ahead. Mm. You should have put it on when you put the, the right standoffs in, yeah. You just run the standoff, or the <coughs> just gotta run screws, screws through the. Yes. Okay, buddy. Okay. Do you have a charger? Otherwise, it's gonna die. I probably have a charger, but I don't think I have the three phone. Like, okay. the three thing. I have those. Because I use it for my, like, I brought one for the computer and my charger. I'm sure that I have one. <coughs> Is it the weird three, three way thing? Big for the no, you just gotta no, you just gotta run it through this here. Let me show you. Mm. You just gotta give the, use the force. This is plenty long right here. You just take this and screw it through, and then put it through the hole in the carbon, and then run it into the standoff. See? So I mean that one's long enough. The extra mile, that's probably fine. And then just put it in there, and you'll feel it bite, and it'll kind of be hard for to screw through there for a second, and then it'll loosen up and go into the. Thanks, Ryan. Appreciate that, man. He said, "Awesome bulls." <laughs> Make quad noises and pretend. Oh. I got that. Well, we could probably... Are you going into the... You're not going into the carbon. There you go. Look at that. Fancy. That's not the noise that they No, make. it's not. I know it's not. Not at all. That's why I made it. Done. So there you have it. Uh, two hours, 18 minutes in two hours 20 minutes probably total took a break <laughs> we definitely took a yeah so it would have been probably a two hour build 
or so roughly and I did a couple of things just to kind of help out the process <coughs> we, <coughs> we could actually plug it in without a um, without a receiver with that Mac that he was playing with him over there Here we go. let's go ahead and get a test of Ruski at least we can see and make sure the motors are spinning in the right direction that way when we plug it in later we know it works I'll fix it up. And it looks like you got some graphics drivers that need to be installed. Well, the graphics driver needs to be installed. And Spell it. Did you shoot? Uh, I hate you. You know oh. what? You wait till I have one. I'm not, you know, I'm not holding back anymore. It's going to be like your apartment all over again. <laughs> That's rough. Oh, you had bad <laughs> uh, I think we all did. It was. We all did. It was real bad. Solid quad. Does that quad run beta flight? It does run beta flight. We're actually about to do uh, some beta flight install. You know what? Careful. I'm going to do even one better. See you, buddy. Bye, happy. I am. You leave in like Monday next week. Next week? <laughs> Saturday. Like, Oh, next week. Okay. Yeah, the sixth is a Friday. Okay, cool. Late Friday. I will have this done before, because I, I leave for work on Tuesday. Well, he's having people over Sunday. Go swimming okay. Stuff. He yeah. invited us over. All right. Well, I'll have it done before then. That way I can give it back to you before I leave for work. Okay. Ooh, Later, bye. buddy. Okay, let's get beta flight open. Uh oh, drink. Did you find it? All right, here comes beta flight. How we doing? Derek has that new beta flight you know video. You should check it out. Now Enjoy you did. It. Okay, so we're gonna go. All right, I gotta set this in studio mode right quick. We gotta add a new scene and call it beta. And then I gotta add a window capture and call it BF. that. Okay. I bet. This is after your normal bedtime, big time. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then we go. I build. Overhead. Copy. Paste. We are. Look at that. Boom. All right. So now we're in beta flight. I just set that scene up really fast. How awesome was that? Oh, I don't have the chat, but we don't want no damn chat in there. Okay. So we're going to connect. And this is the part I'm just going to do. Um, it was already set up properly. Should be. That's a pretty high motor idle. Dang. How about like a 5? Normally it's like 4.5 is default. And this is on uh, 401 on the Omnibus firmware. Looks like the accelerometer is turned on so you can use level mode. Everything else is set normal. D. We'll move this over here because we got to put your name in here somewhere. Okay. 
Now, one more thing. Motors. So we're going to plug this beast in. And make sure that all the motors are spinning in the right direction. So you turn this on. I'll just make sure they're all turning. Hey, they all work. Okay, so feel the motors. Which way is that spinning? Okay, that's correct. Try again. If you put it right on the top, mm -hmm. if you if you push on it, it's gonna be harder to okay. get. Okay. So this one is correct. This one's spinning this way, right? No. No, it's spinning this way. And this one's spinning this way. Correct. So <clears throat> they're all spinning in the proper direction that they need to be for flight. If one of these was spinning this direction, then it would need to be reversed. If you look at this, see how the arrow points? Mm -hmm. It's supposed to go that way. If we go up here, it shows you even cleaner picture of it. So you've got this one spins this direction, this one spins this direction, so on and so forth. So if your motors were reversed, then they spin the opposite direction, but we're not doing that. So all of those are spinning in the direction that they need to be. So if we hook that up right now, and put props on it and we had a receiver it would probably hover with no problem so it's all set up properly how do you like them apples okay sweet well i think that's all for us tonight what do you think we've got i got the strix and she's got the hot dog and i've got the hot dog represent so let's see. Let her rip. Tater chip. Full send. Yeah. Tape on the shaft to help with motor direction. That is uh, actually a really good idea. It sounds nice. Yeah. It's uh, definitely awesome. But uh, the motors are <laughs> old and beat up. So we'll let her beat the crap out of them. And then I've got this entire bag of spares of the same exact motor so <coughs> that way she's got extra she knows how to solder shit together so if she crashes it on her own well she can fix it on her own i'll have all my tools with me when i'm working <laughs> get your own tools so yeah we appreciate you guys uh tuning in and it's been fun yeah. chatting and hanging out and hanging out with ryan while he simmed out and new friends met uh new friends made um, nice to meet you, Ryan Delgarno. Uh, I believe it's RDFPV from YouTube, switched over to Facebook. So, been chit chatting on the Messenger. It's nice to meet you. And uh, yeah, thanks, man. Airplanes are uh, something that I've been into for a long time. I got a bunch of them. Sorry about the rack. But I got a bunch of them hanging up there and random stuff that I've been into. So, okay, guys. Fun stream. Yes, Ben, you are right. Bust it, Nicole, and fix it up. That's right. That's what you do. Crash, build, repeat, or build, crash, repeat, whatever you want to, <laughs> however you want to say it. So, uh, yeah. Thanks again. Next time we'll build a uh, five inch. Hopefully, um, she'll be good to fly that. So, simulator is definitely a must, and stick time, stick time, stick time. So, thanks again, guys. Later.